Hi, I'm Brent. I'm your Parks and Recreation Director for the City of Tucson. So today I'm going to share with you some really fun sketching or drawing exercises that you can go out in one of our beautiful parks or sit in the house and maybe look outside at a tree and try to draw that. I am a landscape architect, so I have a little advantage. I was uh, taught for four years in college on how to do exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in the next couple of minutes. We'll have fun. So all you're going to need today is a piece of paper and either a crayon or I'm going to use a, a black Sharpie marker today. But um, when you look around um, Tucson, you'll see lots of different kinds of trees. Some of them um, are evergreen throughout the whole year, like pine trees or spruce trees or, or um, uh, those type of uh, kind of Christmas tree looking trees. Um, and then others uh, drop their leaves during the cooler months of winter, and those are called deciduous trees. So I'm going to actually show you a couple of real quick sketches of both evergreens and then some of the deciduous leafy trees. So this is through uh, the drawing techniques of a landscape architect. All right, here we go. So for evergreen trees, they're kind of like um, a triangle or a big pyramid. So when I think about that, I'm going to just kind of draw three dots. So I'm going to start at the top, and it's just a real simple, you kind of imagine where the outline of your triangle might be and you kind of connect those dots. So that's a simple, real quick version, but sometimes I'll go through and, and then kind of double those up. So uh, a lot of evergreen trees are a lot fuller than that. Another technique is just a little simpler. It's just a series of lines that keep getting longer and longer. But again, it's kind of like uh, a pyramid or a big triangle. So that's another easy one. The ones I like are really more realistic and you kind of use a little zigzag technique, but keeping in mind what you want that ultimate um, triangle to look like or that pyramid of needles and evergreen looking foliage. Um, this is kind of a, a looser, but I think more realistic rendition of what an evergreen tree would look like. So there, and then we're gonna put them on a little hill. Um, and then I usually like to put a scale figure. So head, shoulder, some legs, and we'll have that guy waving at us. Oh, and he's got his kid with him here, so he'll be over here too. And they're holding hands. So anyway, so there's a group of evergreen trees. This one you could go back in and maybe add a center to it um, to make it look a little more naturalistic like that. So the next one I'm going to show you is actually going to be more of a um, uh, like a mesquite tree. So our Parks and Recreation logo tree is really beautiful. It has kind of a broad expanse of its form. Um, so when you think about it, the tree's branches, they always grow up towards the sun because the sun and the sunlight sustains them. And then it's kind of like just a branching out pattern of lines. Maybe that's why they call them branches. But real quickly, you can see and then I kind of do a little feathered edge around the outside of it. But in a real simple term, you can develop um, the outliner form of a tree. And again, we'll put it on land, maybe put a couple birds in the sky. And of course, we'll put some people there so you know what the, then we'll have them wave at us. And of course, little junior's been tired of hiking, so he's sitting down under the tree. So anyway, there's um, another kind of fun way to show how to draw a tree. Um, underneath trees, a lot of times you'll have shrubs or grasses. So real quickly, I'll show you a couple uh, quick techniques on how you might draw a shrub. And again, they have lots of different looks. Um, this, when you add dots like this, it's called stippling. Sometimes that just acts or adds a real quick effect to make it look like leaves or maybe flowers or things like that. And then you can just vary the, the, the shape of the, the uh, pattern of line work around it. This is kind of like a little scallop thing and put some branches in the center. The other thing is uh, most of our landscapes do have uh, understory plants or grasses so it's kind of a little zigzag check mark thing but again real quickly it makes it look quite natural and I know in and around Tucson we have lots of rocks and stones and boulders so to sometimes add um, a couple rocks in the landscape around that makes it kind of interesting looking, add a little butterfly there. Uh, we'll put some grasses off to the side. And again, this is a big boulder, so we'll have Mr. and Mrs. out there. 
looking for a place for a picnic and they see it's going to be over there. So anyway, that's kind of how a landscape architect would do some quick sketches to portray you know, a landscape either conceptually or for ideas or maybe you want to renovate your landscape or garden. But for us out in our parks, trees are real important. We love to add lots of natural shade. So um, as you get back to enjoying your parks, maybe there'll be an opportunity you can help us plant a tree or two. But anyway, enjoy your drawings. Thank you.